Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we successfully set up a, a very simple register route. We also learned about Postman and how to use that to test out our requests in our API. And so in this lesson, we're just going to finish up and um, create the login and log out endpoints. We'll get straight to it and we are going to do another post. And this one's going to be for the slash login route. We're going to select our post method as we did for the register and this time it's going to be forward slash login. We're going to set up a request handler that's going to take in a request and a response. And as we did previously, we are going to set up a try catch block. And if we do encounter any errors, we will just throw a new error and that's looking good and so we're going to send back a very similar response here we're going to do a res.status and then we will set up a json object we're going to set up our timestamp and that's going to be date.now and then over here we can just implement a, a unique message for our login and that's going to be uh, logged in successfully that's looking good and then we'll just uh, put that code on over there and that's going to be a 200. So quite repetitive here. This is a very basic app in a production style app. If we're spending more time on this, we would uh, want to kind of create a method that will handle uh, this or remove some of this code du duplication. But that's not the point of this course. The course is to learn about authentication. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now that we have our login endpoint, we can open up Postman and we can do a quick test. We can navigate instead of to the register, we'll do a login. I'm going to hit enter and then we can just send that request off. And then you'll see we get back a 200 and then we get a logged in successfully. So that's all working well. And then the last task would be just to implement a logout method over here. And so let's just do that really quickly. It's going to be very much of the same thing. So we're going to set up a route for logout. We're going to implement a request handler with a try catch block. So we should be getting quite used to doing this now. Uh, we'll do a catch to handle any error. Uh, and then we'll throw an error if we do receive one. If we we're going to do a response.status 200 if that's successful and we're going to implement a timestamp as well as a message and then we'll say a logged out successfully and then the last thing we will do is a code of 200. All right, so let's just test that last route in Postman here. So we'll do localhost 3000 slash API slash logout. You'll see I get an error here. Let's just check what I've done. I've obviously made a typo. So that's going to be API slash log out up in, in here. If I hit that, you'll see we get logged out successfully. Okay, cool. So that actually brings me gracefully into the next lesson that we're going to do. Uh, we've done our, our register, our login and log out endpoints. And exactly what happened in this error that I was looking through now, I misspelled the URL here. So we can just do that again. Let's say um, we put something random in here, like a mistake that I just made. And I try and reach that endpoint. You'll see that we get a 404 not found back. And that's what's happening in the router is that uh, the request is coming through and it's it's moving through each one of the methods we've defined. It is a post that's coming through, but then it tries to match each one of the routes in that we've defined in our router. It obviously doesn't find anything. And so it just throws a 404 saying it can't find that route. And then uh, you'll see that HTML with an error coming up. So what we want to do is uh, implement a catch all route at the end of our route here in case this happens to just let the user know that that route does not exist. So let's do that in the, the next lesson. We'll leave it here for now. I'll see you on over in the next one.